posters, wading pools, they got hi-fi hammers, hoses, rakes, they got all the very finest makes. Stop and shop at Kmart, get the best in name brand merchandise, they guarantee the quality and discount the price. They got washers, dryers, bassinets, they got sprinklers, toasters, wire nets, they got broilers, records, vacuum cleaners, barbecues to roast your wieners, ranges, heaters, power tools, they got TV. This very creepy Kmart department store has clearly been closed for well over a decade. The company itself has been in trouble for a while, but actually this store in particular has been closed for a very long time. This place is in good condition. Formerly on the land was the historic North Flint Drive-In Theater. However, in the mid-1960s, along with Kmart's initial growth, a brand new store was built on the site. Judging by the current appearance of the department store, the original Kmart themes and format hasn't changed much from its opening, and this location ultimately closed in 1999 from a company-wide restructuring campaign. Everything has been stripped. You can see how the moisture in here has just warped all of these boards. March 11th, 1997. That's probably when the store closed. Undergarments must be worn when trying on swimwear and intimate apparel. Jesus Christ. So this would have been the storefront. <clears throat> oh, this is the pharmacy. Where is Little Caesars? I don't know. Oh, they were in the back? Yeah, they had the Kmart cafeteria out there. Right. There you go. This is pharmacy. That's completely wrong. Oh, yeah. My foot literally sunk down inside of it. I'm not entirely sure if the building was constructed for this purpose or not, but around a quarter of the overall square footage of the structure is taken by another retail tenant. I've never heard of Circle, nor could I find anything on them, though based on the interior signage, I believe it was some sort of grocery store. 
Man, I do not trust this roof. Where did all this straw come from? Oh, this is open. There's an ambulance up there. Oh my god. Oh, this is a grocery store, I think. walking around in here. It's kind of weird that there's no graffiti in here. What was going on here? Heading back into the main Kmart store, obviously there has been some serious fire damage. Oh my god. This is awful. I don't like this at all. Why am I singing a song? It sounds really dumb. <laughs> yeah, so someone burnt the hell out of this. Interestingly, their solution to fix the heavily damaged ceiling was to put a prefabricated sheet metal roof to cover the collapsed area. A section of the roof. While I couldn't find an exact date of the fire, I believe it had happened in the very early 2000s. And in my speculatory opinion, the owners had probably hoped by covering the roof, it would prevent any further decay. Well, the roof is pretty supported by this beam right here, so I don't think it's in uh, danger of falling out anymore. But. <laughs> oh my god. Damn, the fire really ravaged part of the back here. Oh, look at this. They just built a new roof <laughs> on top of it. See, I was wondering why, yeah, this is the entire ceiling. They just put like a prefabricated roof on yeah. top. I wonder why. I have no idea. 
maybe they were trying to sell the place? <laughs> I mean, if they were trying to clean it up, why didn't they take this section out? Who knows? That's so bizarre. It's crazy. Oh, God. Yeah, so parts of the roof are starting to break through. In 2016, it was announced that somehow this building might be used once again as a warehouse for an auto supplier. Those plans never followed through though, and the former Kmart remains up for sale at a listing price of $250,000. Given the horrible state of the building and the market price of the surrounding land, I highly doubt this once thriving department store will ever be used again.